Hey guys, what is up? Oliver BC here. Welcome back to the first zone of Road to Glory. This is episode number 30. Uh, we're on to the uh, opening up Ultimate Team screen here, and it's just come up with the foot swap deals thingy. I assume I'm going to get a free one again this week. Looking like... Oh, Kazawa. Loma could be good too, but that Kazawa, I might actually have to go for it, but it's not outrageously expensive. Oh, it's nine. Nine is a bit. I'm going to look at this card. That Kazawa could be very, very good though. This should be a foot swap player, I'm guessing. Yep, Villanueva. Villanueva, isn't that a college? So you guys can see we have got some squad battle rewards. The nothing great, though. I think it's like silver two or something. Yeah, silver two. So yep, we do get silver two there, as you guys can see. We get a actually a really nice kit, the Childish Gambino kit. Ah, oh, it's Ilkay Gundogan, again, our main man to the featured squad this week. How do I check his squad? I completely forgotten. There we go. Press Y. Oh, he hasn't got the inform Gundogan in there. He does have a 99 Gundogan, to be fair. Which would not be bad, considering his inform is just godly. God, that's really, that's probably the best one so far. Pretty much all 94 club, apart from his 85 pace. 4 star, 4 star. Wow. When you have inform Van Dyke, you know, Prime Pally and R9, and they're not the best cards in the team, you know you've got a good card. This is a really good team. Alright, now we can open up the packs. We'll start with just the 5k pack. I'll just skip this, not expecting to get even a rare player from it. We do get a rare player, Hurtado, and a Hunter. That's about as good as uh, a 5k pack can get, really. Uh, open up a 7.5k pack now. Boy, a good chance it's worse than that 5k pack was, to be honest. That 5k pack was profit if you open it with coins. We got boards. These are really good for what packs we're opening. Spanish, right middle. Oh, Castellejo might actually have a value right now because of the Boateng uh, flashback. You need a Milan player. Only one, though, so he's probably not worth that much. I am tempted by that ball tape, by the way, if you're curious. Three rare plays in that pack, wow. And then the final premium gold. We get Golovin there, and nothing else really in that pack. So we'll send that all to the club. So there's only 15 hours left of the flashback ball tank. There's still no prime icon set four out, uh, which is annoying. But let's get on to the foot swap deal players. So we got the silver pack like normal, that's all like normal. Ooh, Lasagna, he could be good. He's a fourer, six foot one, left footed. That's not a bad card. Oh wait, if Kazawa's nine, I might be able to get Lasagna and Kazawa. That could be really good if that. Oh yeah, this Loma card looks really good actually. How tall is he? Oh, he's only five ten actually. That is a really good card though. He's six, so I wouldn't be able to get him and Kazawa. Oh wow, yeah, I'm, I'm, I need this Kazawa because I have Tiago Silva blue card and blue Rabio. If you guys aren't aware, so that'll be a really good triangle I can use. He looks very good. So I get him and Lasagna. 100k pack, and then there'll be the Gamera. Yeah, does Gamera cost? Yeah, all 14. That is a really good card, actually, though. Wow, that's a really good card. 5 foot 8, 3 star, 4 star. Oh, that Gamera is really, really nice, actually. Good players this, this month. Oh, is there anything for Footmas? That usually starts quite later in the month. No, nothing for Footmas. I think that usually starts like the 10th. I'm not really sure. Alright, not bad at all, actually. This is probably the best set of plays so far. Not bad at all. So we are going to play some Foot Champs. You guys can see my current record is 3-3. Three and three. There's only two hours, two and a half hours at the Foot Champs. I'm just going to play casually up to like Silver 3, so we get a player pick. It is capped at 84 for Silver 3 and Silver 2, but... Even if I get gold too, it seems to be Captain 84 for me anyway, so that is not too much of an issue. So yeah, let's play some foot champs. Alright, what does our first opponent have? Alright, it would be hard to bring my mood down because I just watched the uh, Liverpool-Everton game a few hours ago. So I'm still very happy about that. It will take like a full icon team to bring me down right now. Not to say that's a bad team, but um, you know, not the greatest. And I'm giving away a penalty in the first minute. Great start. That's some city on city action right there. That was weird. Santa kind of like teleported. He got Kempembe on it. This guy seems like the worst kind of person. Okay, never mind. He's brought Santa. I'm going to stay in the middle like usual. And that was a mistake. Sellers through here. Bruce can find him. He does find him. That's going to be a goal. There we go. 1 0 in the fifth minute. Sell might get to this. He has. Wow, what a run by Sell to get through Kimbembe like that. 2-1 inside 10 minutes. 
Oh, that's a great play. Milano's got a great chance there, and that is 3-1. With a good finish by Animal Lala. Oh, someone might get to that. Mistake by Mendy. Big mistake by Mendy. Green beam with Sal, and that is 4-1. I'm not going to lie, guys. It is so nice. Conceding goals. No, that's his second shot, by the way. <laughs> it is so nice, like, actually beating the man that your player that I'm bursting is controlling, and then the AI not just making, like, an immediate ridiculous block or defensive play. It's like I actually get rewarded for beating my man. <laughs> so much better. Oh, good play by Nanny there to win the ball back. Gunnigan might be able to get Nanny's reward. There we go. That was all Nanny. Great finish by Gunnigan, to be fair, but that was Nanny's interception there that got us that goal. And that is 5-2. Should be able to win it from here, you would think. There is confirmation of the 5-2 win. Very, very, very comfortable win. It could have been a lot bigger result, but doesn't matter. And that does put us in bronze one. Just two more wins, guys, and I'll probably call it a day, to be honest. All right, on to the second game. I am using my fitness team now, and that is a hell of a squad. Very, very good La Liga team. His attack could be better, but it's still a very solid attack. And then his defense in midfield is about as good as it can be for a La Liga team. Rashford's going to send in Sturridge here. Sturridge has the pace to get onto that. We try to switch it up to his left foot. We can. It's only a yellow, and it still goes in because Sturridge is just the best striker in this game. Oh, how's Rodrigo kept the ball there? Oh, and it comes straight back to Aspas. It has all game, or Asensio might have been. Every time I make a challenge this game, it's come straight back to his forwards, and he's just blasted over the box. This guy's not very good at the game. And then finally, he's kept it down there. Because it just comes straight back to him. And my goalkeeper's not going to make the saves. My goalkeepers never do make the saves. How does no one make the tackle? I'm right in front of him, pressing B. He does nothing. Oh, he's the 45th minute, that's why. He just runs past him. My number two there. I'm not sure who it is. I think it might be Gabriel Polista. Just runs straight past him. Doesn't make any tackle. I've still got Rabiot on the damn thing accidentally. He's falling to storage. There's no goalkeeper. He just can't take a damn touch. This game has been awful. How does Sturridge not blast in the back of the net? He just wouldn't shoot it. That was so annoying. Three saves and nine. I still don't know what I meant to do. Once again, it just comes down to goalkeeper. Um, goalkeeper ability. You guys can see I had the possession. You, honestly, it doesn't tell the full story. You guys can see about his shooting percentage. He just wasn't that good. Um, he just held the ball with Modric. There's nothing I can do with my midfield. My midfield's much weaker than what his was. I had all the chances. Lucas had several himself and just couldn't get it done. So we are back onto the main team now. And God, what's with Navas and Godin? We've versed him every single game today, I'm pretty sure. This is his second squad? Damn. Wish I had a team like that as my second squad. Going past for Ram pretty easily. First time ever. Oh, what a run by Royce. Get onto his right foot. And that is a wonderful goal. I don't even care that's off kickoff. Actually, probably is the reason they skinned everyone, but that was a great goal. Oh, found Salah really well there. That's green beam. That is a second goal. I think that was Nanny, I want to say, that found Salah. That was a great pass. Great defense by Royce there. He's going to find in Salah again. Salah's going to blast it with his left peg, and that is 3-0 inside 15 minutes. Going against the yellow for that challenge. And he's gone. Random time to rage quit. I haven't scored a goal in, like, 15 in-game minutes. Guess he didn't want to risk his going in a second yellow card. I don't know. That was weird. Anyway, we get the 3-0 win there very comfortably. And that does put us one win away from Silver 3. Back onto the fitness team now. Oh my god, he's got a red Van Dyke And red Wijnaldum. Wow. This is just a team to make me jealous. And he's got Suarez. And Pato. First time I've versed that. Pato and Fabinho. Wow, what a team. This is going to be a struggle. If we do manage to win this, though, that will put us at silver three, which is what my goal was for today's episode. You know, not trying to take it too seriously. Let's pause it straight away. Well, Sturridge has got to score here. That is going to be a penalty. Van Dijk has just absolutely decked him. That's a straight red. That is what I like to see. Uh, I'm going to go right. Left and right. I'm going to go right. Well, apparently, I'm going down the middle. <laughs> I went left. So he's going to pass up to Rashford, and Rashford scores it. Okay, good. Oh, no, that's a good play. What a save by Neto. No idea where that's come from. 
he doesn't make any like basic saves, then he comes up with that. That deserved a goal, to be honest. It could be easy to be one all right now. And then we're going to go on the counter. Can we whip this over? Great ball. And there we go. 2 0 up. Where it could easily be one all. Great save by Neto. And he might be gone. Hey, Silver 3. I'm a god. <laughs> so I have managed to get Silver 3 with that win, guys. 2 0 win, as you guys can see there. Very deserved win. There is confirmation of the Silver 3. So we do get at least a player pick that is capped at 84. All my player picks usually are, though, so that is. Fine. So I'm just going to play some foot champs while watching some YouTube or something, guys, just casually for the next hour and a half, and I'll be right back to conclude and uh, kind of summarize what I did actually end up getting. I don't think I'll be much better than Silver 2, uh, 3, though. And there we have it. A quarter to six, so 15 minutes left of foot champs. I have actually managed to get Silver 1. Annoyingly, the one week that I don't play at least 20 of my games for foot champs, I'm actually on track for 22 wins, which would be good for Gold 1, almost Elite 3. So we go 11 and 4, which is by far my best start I've ever had to a foot champs run. Um, but anyway, we still get Silver 1, which is awesome. It means we get instant qualification, a mega pack, Dumbo Premier Gold Players pack, 20k, and 1 unlimited player pick. We all know it's just capped at 84 when I'm the one opening anyway. But anyway guys, that is it for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please do leave a like. It helps out a lot. If you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 600 by the end of the year. And I will see you guys next time.